You may hear him. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Guys, there's nothing like boxing, and there are no athletes like fighters. And um, I just got to say, man, I am so happy with yesterday's fucking pay-per-view. Now, I'm going to tell you, as a fight fan, I fell asleep very, very satisfied. You know, um, it just gets to the point that from undercard to main event, I was satisfied, you know. You know, I want to get into the heavyweight. Um, you had Lewis King Kong Ortiz going up against Matias uh, uh, Vendando. And um, I tell you right now, man, Vendando got knocked the fuck out. I mean, in round three, that KO was something else. Over the top, knocking the fuck out. And um, I mean, regardless. Nobody wanted to fight him. I have to, I have to give Vendando his credit, like everyone else was giving him yesterday. He took the fight against that big son of a bitch, man. Uh, he be in his fucking chest, man. I, man, listen, what the fuck, bro? I liked it though. I liked it, but the dude is fucking crazy, and that's a new heavyweight that motherfuckers got to be careful with. Now we, I mean, we just can't say be careful as to him being that good, but he's got. So far, he showed us he's got punching power and he's got a great entrance for a heavyweight, man. You know what I'm saying? He can deliver them shots. You know, um, he's the new, you know, WBA um, interim heavyweight champ, and I have to say congrats, you know. Um, I, I would like to see him. I definitely would like to see him uh, going up against a couple of heavyweights within the division. Then, you know, we had uh, O'Kane versus Johnson, and, um, you know, there were two rounds that to me were, you know, I, 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 I had scored even, you know, which was round six and round ten in that fight. I mean, I'm sorry, round six and round eight in that fight. But I have to say, man, uh, from round one, Johnson outboxed O'Kane, you know, with right hooks. Okay, the second, uh, it was two knockdowns in the first, you know, um, O'Kane, then in the second round, uh, he caught a, he caught a, a cut over the right eye, um, and I have to say, man, that, that fight was close quarters, full booth style, no complaints, okay? Wasn't sloppy at fucking all. So you guys that, that were into that whole bullshit trying to prove a point, the fighting like that, and stuff, you can also be evasive in that fashion. But anyway, um, you know, coming into this fight, they both had a amateur record of uh, 300 fights, okay? And uh, Johnson, okay? has uh, set a record that stands up there with Hagelin Hopkins um, for most power shots in a fight, okay? That's something to, to look into. Motherfuckers are setting records, and they set records the right way. I'm fucking happy with yesterday's fight card. And this, this is yesterday's pay-per-view. This is only undercards now. It's exciting. It was fucking exciting. It was fucking exciting, guys. Now, when we get into the co-main event, which was, uh, you know... Chocolito or Chocolatito Gonzalez going up against uh, Brian uh, Valeria. I have to say, man, uh, round two was questionable to me. I think round two, that's when that's when Gonzalez started stepping up. Okay, um, I have to give it to Brian Valera, uh, Valeria. He showed heart. Uh, he had a lot of stamina, and he pushed Gonzalez. Um, but after the after the fourth, he looked he looked confused. He looked very confused, as well as uh, after the seventh, he looked tanked out. You know, um, you know. They also gave Lee Wiley 
Okay, uh, Lee Wally from the YTBC got a shout out from Jim Lampley. That's huge. If I were you, I would, I would fucking most definitely capitalize on that Lee Wally. But uh, anyway, um, you know, Takalito silenced his critics. Okay, going to a 44, uh, 44 and 0 record with 38 knockouts and um. In that fight, he set so many traps. I mean, the, the the kid is just amazing to watch. You know what I mean? That's from the Arguello Claw. Okay? That's most of you guys, you new guys, you guys that are criticizing, you know, you guys that don't really like him either. Um, there's even guys out there that, that, that have a lot of knowledge of the sport and don't like him and don't agree he's pound for pound. Well, I hope that he's silenced because to me, I feel he silenced his critics yesterday. And he silenced his critics in a big way. Okay? You know, uh, Brian, the Hawaiian Punch, Valeria, is no joke. And look what he did to him. Okay, he took his time, picked his shots. His defense was fucking crazy. There was no way. I mean, it, it, it was it was a great fucking, it was a great fight. I got I to gotta take my hat off to, to, to Valeria. He gave, he gave him a great match. Didn't test him fully, but like maybe two, three shots and maybe that body shot as well I would have to say it was it was definitely a great entertaining fight to watch it was it was a treat you know for for the technic the technically sound fan that loves to watch the evasive maneuvers that the fighters are bringing into that ring and yesterday we got a lot of it now to the main event okay it was Gennady Golovkin versus David Lemieux and you know he weighed in the official weight Gennady Golovkin that is was 159 and a half and at fight night he was only 170 pounds okay now the guys that want to make a case between him and Ward go ahead try to make the case go ahead try to make the case because he still could go up five more pounds. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I have to give much respect to Lemieux. Great effort. He took big shots. Um, he also gave Gennady Golovkin, you know, Golovkin a couple of big shots too. Now, Gennady Golovkin is the fucking Terminator, bro. I mean, he was just walking through shots as well as using that jab. That right there was very essential to that victory. His jab came to the point I think he fractured he fractured uh, uh Lemieux's nose, okay? Um it's probably broken by the morning, but he put on a boxing clinic, okay? That right there was not running and a display of hit and not get hit for you guys that follow that theory. Because even though he did get hit, but it's just it's just a little display. That's how it's really done. That's how it's properly done. That jab was setting was was setting him was helping him set up so many shots against Lemieux. It was just amazing watching that. You know, um, I also got to say in this fight that there was a lot of skill, speed, no clinching, just punching. Okay, in this fight there was there there was nothing but action. And I'm sorry, but I in a long time I have not seen a fight card. Okay, especially this year. This has, had, is it, man, so far, this has had to have been the best fucking fight card yet. You know what I'm saying? This pay-per-view was great. I'm more than sure, because people that, that follow the prize fighter from Vegas, they're, they're basically hoping that this shit don't go more than 300000 350000 I'm more than sure it has done more. You know what I mean? And if they have, congratulations to Golden Board and Top Rank and everyone else who was involved with that fight, or, or that pay-per-view yesterday. The fight card was great. That was a great fucking fight card, man. Um, as well, yesterday's event in Madison Square Garden history sold more tickets in 10 days than any prize fight that has been held in Madison Square Garden. And yesterday was Gennady Golovkin's 
both appearance and Master Square Garden. Now, Greece fight at Master Square Garden. That's where it should go. Now, the fight was stopped, eighth round TKO, and, uh, you know, Lemieux got hurt uh, in the fourth. That's when he started, you know, actually he hurt Gennady in the fourth, but Gennady just walked through that shit. I have to tell you, man, um, he set records. It's 21 and 0 now, knockout streak. That means he's gone through all these, and he unified. He unified, which is what people should be trying to do. Competitiveness within the sport. Let's remember that, guys. You know, I have to say, man, this year, the closeout is great. Next fights that are coming up, well, let me give it to you, all right? I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it to you guys, uh, and I hope that uh, if you guys can't catch it, DVR the shit, or call your homeboy or your homegirl to actually watch and get it from them. If not, then just come to my fight page, and I'll keep you guys up to date. But um, October 24th, we're going to have Crawford versus uh, uh, Je Jean, right? And uh, Dia Jean, and I'm waiting for I'm waiting to see Crawford again. I have to see how Crawford is going to close this year out, and I have a feeling that it's going to be a spectacular fucking show. All right, November seventh, we're going to have uh, Bradley versus Rios. Okay, and that's that's going to be a fucking match that we cannot miss. Okay, I want to see how these two guys close out the year as well. Then immediately after Brandy uh Bradley Rios, we're gonna have a uh, twenty four seven with Cato and Canelo. Okay? Twenty four seven Cato Canelo. It's the build up. It's gonna be awesome. November eleventh, we're gonna have a brand new episode of the fight game with Jim Lampley. Let's get that going. A lot of informative uh stuff there, you know what I'm saying? Um November twenty first all bets are off. The gloves are on. Hopefully, they're going to be Cleto Reyes or Cleto Reyes, and um, it's going to be Cotto versus Canelo. You know, it's interesting on how many people are not divided because we all have great sportsmanship, but it's just the division on how many people are going for Cotto and how many people are going for Canelo, and the and 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 the shit that when you look at that list. Of boxers and managers and trainers, it, it, it's crazy. And who you thought would go for who didn't? It's it's fucking crazy. Then November twentieth, we'll have Klitschko versus Fury. I can't wait. I tell you right now, I slept well. I went to sleep happy as a boxing fan. Finally, I was satisfied. The appetite was full. I'll be hungry for next Saturday. Terence Crawford. Yeah, John, or Gene. I'm ready for that fight, fans. Like I said, boxing has come back very slowly, but it was great. This this has got to be one of the best fucking pay per views in a long time. In a long time, and don't be biased, okay? Guys out there, do not be biased. Stop it guys enjoyed it, it's probably in your living room, cheering, spilling shit over, you know what I'm saying, you know that they bought us great boxing yesterday, it was fucking great, and I think that I'm going to see these fights again, thanks for joining my fight page, I'm Jicado, and uh, God bless, we got Monday, Let's work towards another fight weekend. Peace, guys.